welcome, welcome, welcome to Miss Serenity Smith Baby's Nursery. We have a new baby in the nursery, so I am going to share this baby with you guys. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you exactly who it is. I want to show you the sculpt. Some of you guys has already been on my Instagram may have already seen this baby. If you're not a part of my Instagram, make sure you follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. I am on Instagram. Um, my page is now private, so you do have to request, but I pretty much improve. I mean, yeah, click everybody on once you just send the request. Um, all right, so this is the Warren Sculpt by Laura Tuzer Ross, if I did not say that already. And he is painted by me. Um, also, guys, just a real quick, quick, quick information. Those of you guys that love the Cody Bear, um, Laura Tuzer Ross painted and rooted. I don't know, she, uh, she probably sent him out to be rooted. But anyway, she has painted and rooted, completed and finished Cody Bears available on her um, website um, at myworldofbabies.com. This baby is special because I don't usually do customs or private orders, but when I did the um, giveaway where if you in, you bought directly from the sculptor, your name was entered in a box to uh, for me to paint, um, you know, for you, for you. I was gonna do either. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into that. that was old news, but anyway. Um, so one of the participants actually ended up. Um, contacted me and I decided to go ahead and say yeah go ahead I'll paint it I didn't have a time frame I didn't have any specifics on it I was it was just free I can do light skin dark skin whatever I wanted to do and so that was just fun and so I did and um so now I have this baby here to show you guys so anyway like I said I will put the link in the description bar for you guys um it's my world of babies for Laura's website but if you guys have not followed me on my Instagram, it is Miss Serenity underscore Smith, and you guys will see lots of pictures there afterwards. So, yeah, so all right, let's start at the feet, guys. <laughs> we have to start at the feet, yes. All right, so let's start at the feet. At the feet, the feet, the feet, the feet, the feet, the feet. So, he is going home soon, and it is a he. Wow. Oh, you got a little lint on you. We're going to slide you right on out of this blanket. Boop. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me get you guys. So these are his little feet. See, these are my little feet. My little feet. My little feet. My little feet. And so, the legs and feet I'm in. Um, so that is him. And so we're gonna move right on up. He's a good baby too. He does squirm a lot though. He does squirm a lot. So he does not have a tummy plate or anything. He is wearing his serenity shirt. And this is him. Say hello everybody. He does take a modified pacifier which is great. I'm gonna take this out so you guys can see his little mouth. So he has a little open mouth with little tongue and gums inside his mouth. That is, that is me. Say hello, mommy. Hello, world. Hello. Hello, Shrika. <clears throat> so I did root him top lashes and he has on his, he, ha he has on, he has brown eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that as much. I'll try to get some light in there, but it's just not gonna show just quite. But anyway, so I did, um, so he has just, you know, uh, has a little milk, the little milky lip as well. I love doing that. Um, his nails are lightly tipped, not so much, just lightly, very, uh, very lightly tipped. So him is so sweet. Yes, he is. And I don't normally do this as much, but I went ahead and I gave him a heartbeat. And I'll tell you why I don't do it in every baby or don't do it. I stopped doing it. I used to have custom made bodies 
with custom made pockets for the hearts and I used to get a different type of heartbeat and all this stuff but I kind of stopped doing it because a customer made a video once and was saying mentioning how the heartbeat had stopped beating and I felt like ah okay so I don't want to do this because I don't want to want customers to be complaining when it stopped beating so I kind of stopped doing it so I won't be doing that in every baby just so you guys know so you guys don't expect it um <clears throat> every now and then I might put one in um I won't be doing it upon request either because it's not like I'm gonna just have them sitting here so I'll just do them whenever I feel like it um but I thought I would give him one so you just I don't know if you could hear it, but yeah, you just press this little chest and boom, boom, and it'll beat for a few seconds for him. Um, so also, a lot of my babies do go home with these um, embroidered onesies or side snap shirts, um, something that's personalized by me, I mean, for, from me, but I don't always include them as well. Um, they were originally supposed to be strictly for my uh, fully completed silicone babies or my fully completed when the babies are painted and rooted and so fully completed. I was doing it that way at first and then I was doing it just strictly for my silicone babies because, you know, I was trying to make them be more special since they're very, very expensive. But I like sending them home with all my babies or most of my babies a lot of times when I have them on hand. And the reason why I don't do it with every baby is once again, I have a lot of this stuff made and sometimes it's not readily available for me or they don't come in time. So I don't make promises that I can't keep. So I don't tell people that every single baby is gonna come with the, uh, the you know, thing. Every baby is different. Um, so, but what I will start doing is letting people know what the baby will come home with um, when I put them up for sale so that people can know. So if that's more important to you, the shirt or the heartbeat or something, and that's going to break the deal for you, you'll know that ahead of time. So you won't be, you know, upset, you know, I don't want mommies to be hyped up and expecting something and then it just don't happen. Right, Tuka? I love his little lip. Oh, I love him. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so, but I, I don't know, like I said, I am working on some stuff. I'm working on some stuff. So, um, if, if, um, everything goes well, some stuff that I'm working on and behind the scenes, then there's a possibility that all my babies will be able to go home with the uh shirts and stuff because i'm looking into or something personalized i should say for me and i don't want to get too deep into it because you know i like to keep some stuff to myself but i am working on something different for my babies and i i know that um like for instance with the big time some of the big time artists really the only one that i know that's really really consistent with that is claire taylor she sends like for the whole edition um everybody get a bottle everybody get the same outfits exact same outfits in the edition she makes sure everything is exact for the whole edition or rather it's blankets or the you know whatever um but then we're looking at <laughs> we're, we're we're looking at someone that's uh making a substantial amount more money than me okay so listen baby listen sometime when i first started collecting on that level i was like does it come with a crib or a car seat or what what <laughs> no just kidding but i didn't really think that when the first time i see the roman stratum baby i was like and i seen the auction go all the way up to like twenty thousand dollars i was like oh she must be gonna send the crib the car seat the stroller my baby better have everything you need <laughs> <laughs> but um anyway it's it's definitely not that it's definitely for me about the doll itself but I do know as mommy it's nice to get those little trinkets but anyway so let me tell you a little bit more about him and then I'm gonna go ahead and go I don't want to make this video too long but he is um about 19 inches long 
Um, in my opinion, now he is said to be premium size, but he's not. He's more of a newborn to me, a small newborn. Um, he probably could fit into, well, I think he can fit into premium if you want him to fit it, you know, right or whatever. But he definitely can fit newborn too. I think his outfits that I bought for him to go home in is actually preemie. It might be preemie. One might be preemie. One might be newborn, newborn or whatever. I don't know. But he has on a newborn size diaper. And he does have this regular cloth body. But it's signed by the sculptor. Because Laura Tudor Ross was also doing that. If you guys was buying the worn sculpts from her at that time. When I was running my giveaway. She threw that in there for me. For people for that contest um and so he he is his i almost i almost forgot that's the funny thing my mind is so terrible i almost forgot and put him on my signature body because i had a, a another um ethnic <laughs> signature body here and then i thought about i was like oh shoot oh my gosh no i was like and i don't know about you guys but i would rather have the sculptor's signature on the body than the actual artist because I mean, you're getting the artist's work. I mean, well, he is getting the sculptor's work. But anyway, so I think the hand-done signature body from the sculptor is definitely worth way much more. I, and that's another subject in a whole nother day. But we're, I'm going to end this video here, and I may come back with this little man again. I may try him on some clothes. I don't know. Like, I've gotten to the point where I think I want to send my babies home in just their little hospital wear because we don't do nothing but strip them down anyway and then put them in their put their new outfits in in there with them because I feel like we always strip them down anyway in the box opening so why not just leave their new outfits untouched and just fold it up in the packet so that's my new thought process but I might just put him on some clothes just to see him with some clothes on and come back and do a topic video for you guys um but yeah, so meet baby Warren. I don't know what his name is going to be, but oh my gosh, he sure does look like he, you know what I like about Laura, Laura Tuzera's babies is that they look like they could be my family. And that's, I guess that's why I'm kind of drawn to a lot of her faces, like the Anthony, um, this one, what is that other one that I have? I have it right here. What's the name of this sculpt? I keep forgetting the name. Jalen. The Jalen sculpt, to me, it looks like it could be part of my family. So, anyway. So, alright. So, this little boy is going home. I don't know if mommy's going to get him rooted later or not. Um, but, for right now, he's baldy. I'm going to show you his head. This is his head. I did. So, his head is painted and... Um, he has like a little bit of veining, not much. He, do, he doesn't have like a lot of vein and I didn't, I don't know. I almost said the spirit didn't lead me to it, but let me not. Um, but I just, I just, I don't know. I just, that was not something that I was like highly focused on. I think I was more focused on getting his skin tone and I didn't want him to look just like Micah. So there you have it. So those are my two versions of the one that's Micah and then there's this little one and I have one a kit of for myself that I'm gonna paint and I don't know I'm trying to think he is probably close to Memphis color but anyway I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe tell a friend to subscribe and leave me a comment because I love you guys comments and I will see you guys soon Got lots of things planned for us.